Kristen, and I'm your travel advisor. Let's tour the Valentine Imperial Riviera Maya Resort. So this is the entrance where the transport will drop you off. Also, this is where you'll cry whenever you leave the resort. Oh, just me? Oh, okay, okay. So this is the main lobby. There's also another little lobby check-in area for people that get the privé package. Definitely go during night or during the day just to sit down and have a drink because the smell is so good. I especially loved going here at night to have like a drink and just hang out after a long day in the sun. Surrounding the lobby, there's these really beautiful walkways that connect different shops and restaurants and stuff. We'll get to those later, but just admire the view just from outside the lobby. This is the main plaza. You'll have nightly entertainment here, and there's a small bar that they can serve you. So there is a gift shop. You can find everything from souvenirs to essentials that you may have forgotten for your trip. Definitely a must check out when you're in the Valentine. There is also a spa at the Valentine. I definitely should have gone up there, but I feel like it's weird to film in a spa. You can also find a little boutique in a jewelry store. And actually I bought a ring while I was there and I just realized I haven't seen that thing in like a year or so. Bad juju on me. Also in this area, you can find a place called Don Miguel's. It's like a little lounge where you can get drinks and they have a cocktail hour too that a lot of people don't realize that they have. And sometimes they have a little man playing the piano and it's just a really fun place to check out, especially after dinner. Right next door to Don Miguel's is the sports and music bar. We personally didn't hang out here very much, but I do know it stays open pretty late during the night if you're one of those people that wants to stay up and party all night long. There's also this lounge. I think the word is taboo on YouTube, but you definitely know what this is. The wedding chapel's also in this area too, one of many places you can get married at the Valentine. There's also gazebos and you can get married on the beach. I did get shots of that too, so I'll show that right after this. So now I'm just gonna show you all the buildings. I tried to get every single one of them in these shots, but I'm not really sure which one is which. <laughs> Sorry about that. But just know that the resort is so huge and there's so many rooms. And since the resort is huge, just keep in mind that there is a lot of walking involved. So do your research if you really need accommodation that way. But I do know that there are staff that can bring you around on a golf cart, but just know that's sometimes hard to come by. One thing many people love about this resort, and me included, is that it feels so secluded and you're almost like you're in a jungle, which a lot of resorts, especially in the Cancun area, it literally feels like brick and wall. But this one is so elegant, so beautiful. You definitely won't be disappointed if that's what you're looking for. So there is this pool by the swim up rooms. You don't have to be staying in the swim up rooms to use the pool. A lot of people don't know that. It does kind of look like a lazy river, but it's not really a lazy river. This is really fun and it's a little bit farther away from the main pool if you just kind of want to get away and there's bars and stuff. So it's a really cool area. Okay, let me show you the main pool. Now this pool is one of the largest in all of Mexico. So there tends to be this side that one side is like the party hype music side and the other side is more calm. So it's a good mixture of both. And there's actually two swim up bars on this pool. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. They have activities at the pool every single day that you can see in like your little journal that they put outside your rooms. One thing that a lot of people don't like is that people like to reserve their chairs early in the morning and don't spend a lot of time at the pool. So it's hard to find a seat sometimes. You know, it's hit or miss. The beach is always open as well. So it's just a really cool pool and you're definitely gonna love it. So this is the beach. I came at sunrise, so you'll have no people and a really cool view. Anyways, I do want to mention there is seaweed this day because it was filmed during summer. Unfortunately, the Riviera Maya and Cancun area get really bad seaweed during the summer. So if you're the kind of person that wants to visit without seaweed, it's definitely best to visit during winter months. It's still going to be nice temperatures and stuff. Another really cool thing about this beach is that they have like beach toys that you can rent. Some are free, some are paid for like the jet skis. 
There's definitely the volley beds here too for the pre-day packaged guests. They do have volleyball net as well at the beach and at the pool. And also I can't forget this. This is my favorite thing because the Valentin is an area where sea turtles come and nest and they have this little fenced in area where they collect the sea turtle eggs and then rebury them before they hatch. We got lucky one day and we got to see a mama sea turtle laying her eggs. Sea turtle nesting season is from like May to October, so that is a perk of visiting during summer. You may just see one lay their eggs just like we did. So some miscellaneous things, they do have tennis courts in this garden here. There's actually nothing growing because at this point, they had just opened from COVID, so nothing there. And then this is the gym, which was not open. <laughs> Sorry. You have to go explore the resort at night because everything lights up and it's so pretty. So here are a couple of pictures at night. Quickly, I'm gonna show you all the restaurants. This one is the Japanese restaurant. They have a sushi bar, a main area, and then a hibachi grill. The hibachi grill, you do have to make a reservation with your concierge, so keep that in mind. La Hacienda is a Mexican restaurant. This specific restaurant has an indoor seating and outdoor seating area, which is so beautiful, and the food is good as well. La Marche is the buffet restaurant for breakfast and lunch, no dinner, but here it is. The Italian restaurant is called Il Olivo and they have a huge wine selection. La Alsace is the French restaurant and I have to say after our last trip here, this was our absolute favorite one. The decor here is so beautiful and you have to get the baked Alaska. It's such a treat. Kamansari is the Indonesian. I have to say, do not skip this one because this is one of the best restaurants at the resort. It's so good. Even if you don't like Indonesian, just give it a try. And you have to get the secret box. It's a dessert. And you'll thank me later. Last but certainly not least is Mari Tierra. It's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a mixture of all kinds of different foods. It's really, really cool because it's on the beach, so definitely do not skip that one. If you're looking for tours of the rooms, we've only ever stayed at the Silver Superior Junior Suite. It's on our vlog channel. We have many vlogs over the Valentine. I'll leave a link in the description down below to check out our channel there. And if you're looking for a travel agent to help you book your Valentine vacation, visit my website, sunsetsandsuitcasestravel.com and schedule a consult with me, I would be so glad to help you out.